Good morning, it's Emma here from Way to Fitness. The, the church clock is chiming, it's got to be nine o'clock. Good morning, it's Wednesday. Are you there? <laughs> I'm live on my step um, in from Mid Devon, and the sun is out again, and it is another beautiful morning. Give me a wave if you're out there. Hello, Dawn, good to see you. It is such a lovely day, isn't it? Oh, amazing. I haven't checked the duck house for eggs yet. I wonder if there'll be one waiting for breakfast. <laughs> Give us a wave if you're out there. It would be lovely if you could join me. There is another person. Who is it? I could guess. There's three people. Fantastic. Today it's Wednesday. Hello, Lorna. Good to see you. It's Wednesday. Good morning. <sighs> we are talking food today. Food. Um, it's very necessary. We need it. Good morning, Tina. Uh, it's very necessary. We need it to keep going, basically, don't we? Just like the cars we talked about last week. Food is fuel. And when eaten... Oh, good, Dawn's eating her breakfast. I haven't had mine yet. I've delivered the paper to Margaret, and I thought I'd do my little catch-up, my little chat at nine, and then I'll do my breakfast. Nice, you're full screen again. Yeah. Okay, I've been fiddling around with portrait and landscape. Certainly, uh, for my nine o'clock talks, I'm definitely in portrait. Um, and landscape is very tricky unless I'm doing a mat class because my just lounge isn't wide enough. Well, it's, yeah, it's not wide enough. Anyway, we have to just work around what we can do. Okay, so today we're talking food. Um, I came across this fantastic post on Facebook last night. Um, it made me laugh and I am going to read it out. Good morning, Margaret. It goes like this. New monthly budget. Anyone else? Petrol. Zero. Clothes. Zero. Entertainment zero. Self-care, zero. Nights out, zero. Food, £2,576.89. Yep, that's certainly the case in our house. <laughs> I could probably say that's food and drink. It could be alcoholic, it could be non-alcoholic, but wow, our food bills have gone up because we're in. We're cooking more, we're in, um, and my word, um, there's a lot of food around. Now, in our 10 o'clock slot, uh, our health live session or even our live health session uh, we are talking about food today over on our closed Facebook group I've got to search for your notifications Emma where have I gone wrong tricky that might be one for Lou she's terribly good on technicalities I am the w last person to ask about technical issues I'm afraid good morning Karen so um, at 10 o'clock we're talking food um, on our closed Facebook group. It's called Way to Fitness Champions and we need to be friends on Facebook first um, and then I can add you to that group. Um, that is where all my live classes are delivered. That's where our, um, ex that's where our exercises, our, um, our chatty slots um, and it is a brilliant place to be. It is just the best value for £6.15 a week or £25 a month. You've got access to eight live sessions, which you also get emailed to you. So you have a link in those emails to our YouTube channel that only you can access. Um, and it is just fantastic value. We've got Cardio Fitness, which we did last night. We've got Pure Stretch, which we're doing tonight. We've got Legs, Bums and Tums, which is a fabulous toning session that we do on a Saturday morning. And we've got Keep Moving, which is a seated exercise session. So if you've got any elderly relatives staying or you've got people in your family that want a seated session, we get we get quite ahead of steam, you know. So if you're not on that closed page, send me a personal message. We're going to chat and I can stick you on it. And from today onwards, you can enjoy live exercise sessions. We have such a time, such a good time. Good morning, Mary and Sharon and Bev. Good to see you. So, what are your cupboards like right now? Drop me a message. Tell me now. Type it in. What are they looking like? Are you having difficulty getting the stuff you want? Or are you a bit overcome with stuff? Um, we seem to have gone a bit crazy on veg boxes. Uh, we have a big one on a Monday and a small one on a Friday. Um, we haven't eaten our pointed cabbage from last Friday and then we've got another one on Monday. It's um, tricky. I need to find someone in Sanford that likes pointed cabbage. Let me know if you're in Sanford, my village, and I'll drop one on your doorstep. <laughs> Good morning, Alison, and hi, Sarah. <laughs> oh, dear. Have you got too much of anything, or have you got too little of something? Just drop me a message now. Let me know. How are your stores looking? 
I'm thinking I've now got two cauliflowers. I'm going to have to do one of my cauliflower and lentil dolls. Hi, Lynn. And I'm probably going to have to do a cauliflower cheese. Oh, Lorna loves pointed cabbage. Shame I can't put it in your first prize bag, Lorna, that's sitting on my side here. That's got a bottle of cider and a loo roll <laughs> from your first prize that you won at the quiz last Friday. <laughs> I need to have a little box. Did you say it was Winkley Shop that you go to, Lorna? Can you let me know? Good morning, Jenny. <laughs> was it Winkley Shop, did you say? Or was it a different shop? Can't remember. Cauliflower rice. I've never done that. I think that's when you you sort of chop it all up and stick it in the steamer, isn't it? Do you know what? I think we could do that. That would be better for me than, than cauliflower cheese, wouldn't it? Use the cabbage to make coals? Yeah, I haven't done that for a while either. Okay. Yes. Use. I only ever use round cabbages for coleslaw and I don't make coleslaw that much. But I could do, couldn't I? I could do that today, Karen. That's a really good idea. Use the cabbage, yeah. Got two pointed cabbages, that's a lot of coleslaw. Okay. Thanks for that, Lorna. Okay. Winkly shop. Okay. I'll bear that in mind. Um, okay. So, you haven't told me yet. You could try cauliflower curry. Yes. Yes. We could try the cauliflower curry recipe. Thank you. You aren't telling, you're only telling me what I can do with my vegetables. What have you got too much of right now? <laughs> Has anyone got too much of anything? Or are you just perfect at ordering and eating stuff? Hmm? Is it just me that's just got a few too many pointed cabbages in their kitchen? <laughs> I've now got three lemons and two limes. Because they keep coming in my fruit vegetable box as well. I've actually managed to not make a lemon drizzle cake. Because, you know, we're doing the BLTSE every night. Breakfast, lunch, tea, snacks, and E is now for exercise. I'm doing that for five days. It's day three today. And I'm quite pleased with how it's going. But my snacks was bad yesterday. And that was because I was home alone. And I was sort of sad. Um, and um, I celebrated in the wrong way. I celebrated by cracking open my Easter egg. <laughs> But the rest of the day was good, and I probably did at least two hours of exercise. So that's why I gave myself two goods for exercise. Too many bananas. Okay, too many bananas in the first veg box last night. What can Lorna do with her bananas, everyone? Sarah's got leeks. Now, you can freeze leeks. You can chop them up and freeze them. I think I've done that. You could make, make a, a Cranks cheese and leek flan. That's very nice. Too much fresh fruit is trying to have healthy snacks. Too much fresh fruit. Okay. Karen, have you got too much fruit? Or are you... I don't think you can eat too much fruit. Well, I suppose you could, but... They were in with a freezer for cakes and muffins. Do you freeze bananas? I've never frozen bananas, ever. I would make a banana loaf <laughs> if I had too many bananas. See, I'm a lost cause, aren't I? <laughs> Good morning, Marie. Dawn, I'm trying to be healthy, but I keep snacking. I keep up with your exercise, though. Brilliant and walking children to the school club brilliant bananas and custard i used to have that as a child and i used to love it except if mum ever put a blob of plum jam in with the bananas and then hid it with custard and it, that was always a bit of a disappointment i hate finding jam in my banana custard but i do like banana custard Okay, abs oh, Lorna, oh, absolutely, all, all, she freezes bananas all the time when they get brown. Perfect for cakes. Okay, I have never frozen a banana in my life. I am learning so much this morning. I found a recipe to use a tin of black beans, open by mistake. Found a really yummy chocolate brownie recipe. Oh, nice, very nice indeed. Okay, so we need to be creative. If we've got gluts of stuff, good morning, Carol. We need to either be baking it giving it to our neighbours, it's cold actually today, or freezing it. I've learnt you can freeze bananas. Banana pancakes, yes, you can make banana pancakes with just bananas, oats, and I think it's milk, because that's a vegan banana pancake recipe I've seen. Yeah, but you can add eggs if you want to. Fantastic, gosh, haven't we thought, thought of some good things we can do with the food? So at 10 o'clock today, we are not talking cakes. We are talking great health how to eat, what to eat. That's been requested by some of my members. Oh, thank you for that. BBC Good Food Recipe Sarah. Chili, chocolate, 
black bean brownies. Lovely eggs. Mary, have you got too many eggs? Or are you adding eggs? I don't know. Could be eggs for the pancake. You could have too many eggs. Good morning, Sarah. We're talking about what food have we got too much of and what can we do with it? We're trying to do anything but make cakes. Um, but Sarah has just provided us with the best brownie recipe because it's even got black beans in them. <laughs> They're fantastic. Um, I am trying to cook less um, because my waistline is expanding. Um, but I am going to make some, maybe some curries, some savoury things, and I'm going to make coleslaw with all my pointed cabbages. <laughs> so I hope some of you, many of you, will join me at 10 o'clock. I need to stop now because we need to, I need to have my breakfast and do some, my, my phone calls, but I'll be back live on the closed Facebook group at 10 o'clock. We can talk more food then, bananas and eggs for pancakes. Okay, yeah, you can add oats as well. It's very nice. Um, closed Facebook group called Way to Fitness Champions. We need to be friends on Facebook first, then I can add you. Anyone can have a free week of access to our closed group. You get eight live sessions and you also um, get emails of our sessions uh, with a link to YouTube. Good morning, Graham. So if you're not on that closed group but want to, message me right now and I can add you so you don't miss another minute's worth of fantastic content. Um, and I will see you all later. Sarah's putting oat pancakes are great. Yeah, I thought they were. And of course, oats are really good for you. They, they can help your cholesterol, uh, uh, soluble fiber. They lower your, help lower your cholesterol. They're part of a healthy diet. They make you poo. It's all good. Okay, so I'm going to stop now. It's time for breakfast. Thank you so much for all your suggestions and comments. Um, see lots of you at 10 o'clock over on the closed Facebook group. And I am going to say goodbye and happy Wednesday for now. Oh, before I do, it's pure stretch at 7 o'clock. Do not forget.